What is up creators, this is Tom, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. It's been a little bit of a while since we've covered a new tech device and I'm really excited because I have the new iPad Pro. I should say this is the iPad Pro, the brand new iPad Pro with M1 chip. Now I don't tend to cover things like this on the channel because on the whole things like tablets, devices like this really don't get me that super pumped because really they don't tend to help help me uh, in terms of creating content. But I'm super excited about this iPad because this iPad includes the M1 chip, which theoretically means that it is a hell of a lot powerful than previous iPad generations. I have previously owned like an iPad Air. I've owned that for about like five years. So it was due an upgrade and this definitely seemed like a good move. And there's two things that I really want to test out using this iPad. First thing is photo editing and the next is video editing. For anyone that is new on the channel, my name is Tom. I am a filmmaker, videographer, and photographer based in the UK. I create these videos and I also create content for clients full time. All I ask if you enjoy this video is you drop a quick like on the video. It takes like five seconds. You can count it as your good deed for the day. But like I said, what I wanted to do is I wanted to test the photo editing capabilities and then the video editing capabilities of the iPad Pro with M1 to actually see whether this little uh, tablet could be used in replacement of a laptop computer uh, when maybe I'm traveling. As you guys know, I actually use an M1 Mac Mini as my main computer now. So having a little device like this to pair with that and do professional proper photo editing on it and then even some video editing potentially is actually a massive win for creative video and photo production. So in terms of the device that I've got here, I decided to go with the smaller size. It still has an absolutely beautiful display that's extremely high resolution and should be fantastic for things like photo editing. But like I said, the real main driver behind me wanting to pick this up is definitely the M1 chip. So let's jump into some photo editing. I'm gonna pull up Adobe Lightroom here. We're going to load in a full folder of RAWs, a bit like I would do with a professional photography job. Uh, and let's just have a play around, have a look and see just how good the performance actually is. Okay, so first things first, we are obviously screen recording on the iPad at the same time. So that's even like an extra step of processing that's going on the whole time whilst we're editing these photos. But we'll open up Adobe Lightroom. I have a folder here from a trip that I did like ages ago, a couple of years ago now, uh, but there are some quite nice stills. Um, this was a trip that I did to Thailand. I thought that this would be, this would be some good raws to try and test some of the capabilities. And you can very quickly see like how snappy this is like it really is pretty exceptional in terms of just like the speed and performance. This is probably faster than my Mac, which is pretty exceptional, probably a combination between really well optimized app software because iOS is obviously a little bit less intensive uh, compared to Mac OS X. So there's a chance that that's what's driving the uh, additional performance, but like on the whole, this is very snappy. If you were just doing a bunch of photo editing on this tablet, uh, I think you would be extremely, extremely happy with the performance. You can see like the before and after, there is nothing slow about this at all. One of the other really intensive things in terms of photo editing that is required from uh, your machine when you are editing them is exporting. When you export a whole bunch of images, it really can take uh, a while on your machine. So let's see how, maybe let's export like 10 of these images. I know these don't have, uh, all don't have edits on uh, for now, but let's select those images, hit share, and then export to camera roll. Give uh, Lightroom permission here. And you can see just how quick that export is. Like this is an absolute machine. Like this is speeding through edits. Um, definitely faster than my desktop Mac would be. So in the Photos app, you can see that these are loading in like extremely high detail photos. These really do look beautiful considering also the screen. I think if you had the larger um, iPad as well, like this would just be a beautiful, beautiful thing to edit photos from. Before we get into video editing on the iPad Pro, I wanna to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, Clean My Mac. Throughout the last year of freelancing, I have upgraded my 
gear and I've started to work on bigger and larger projects. There are massive disadvantages of that though. It means that I'm working with larger files and just many more files and it's just a nightmare to keep on top of. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been working on client projects. My Mac, my Mac mini, which is just a 512 gigabyte M1 Mac mini, just sort of just runs out of space and this is due to just caches, system junk files, and sometimes it even gets in the way of deadlines, which is just never fun at all. So I was absolutely buzzed when Clean My Mac reached out to me with the opportunity of working together. I've been using Clean My Mac X to fix this problem. It is an industry leading tool to speed up your Mac, delete files, manage your storage space, and just keep your Mac ticking along as fresh as you bought it. It has a bunch of amazing features. It will run through a smart scan of your machine uh, to really tell you where some improvements could be made. It even has a system junk scanner. This will go through all of your system and find areas of just kind of useless bloat files that are literally taking up gigabytes and gigabytes of space. And then I can just delete this 3.36 gigs of files just like that. Another one is Space Lens, which by hitting this scan button down here, will basically do a storage map of your machine and tell you where set space and file savings could be made. You can see that this literally builds a visual map of your machine so you can find and get rid of enormous bloat files. Make sure you can trust your Mac with Clean My Mac X. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So what I've done here is I'm editing on Adobe Rush. I have the iPad M1 directly in front of me. And what I've actually done is I've loaded in the first section of this video, the first uh, sort of shot from my C200. Uh, I'm using the sort of default MP4 codec from my C200 and I'm editing this directly in Adobe Rush, which is Adobe's mobile video editor. It did take me a little while to import the footage. So, you know, it's taken me a little bit of time to get this editable but uh, once it is actually in the timeline, um, I am able to pretty much play everything back like I would expect to. I mean, this is like pretty high detail 8-bit 4K footage and the iPad is handling it really, really nicely. All right, so I had a little bit of a play uh, with the video editing on here and I'm actually really impressed considering how uh, you know intense the footage that I'm throwing at uh, this iPad is. It's pretty impressive that it can run a lot of this footage back simultaneously and even when I am playing like two clips at once uh, stacked directly on top of each other even with like maybe a filter or something applied. I think that's sort of the main issue is you don't have that much control on an iPad using an editor like this. I don't have the same granularity of control that I have on my desktop Mac. But in a pinch it is amazing to see just how smooth this footage is. I think really the last thing to do here is actually just to hit export on this little clip selection just to see how long it actually takes to export like a 4k uh, clip directly from uh, something like Adobe Rush on the iPad. Right, I mean we've got a Grady clip in there, we've got sort of standard clips in there, that is pretty rapid. Uh, I have to admit this is like a 30 second clip so um, it is definitely tearing through that. I like this looks pretty good. Like I'm quite impressed at just how quick and responsive this little tablet is. I definitely think for a photo editor, this could definitely be a valid usable device, pretty much in replacement of something like a laptop. Is it gonna replace my video editing machine? No, just because uh, I don't think it's there in terms of usability, but definitely in a pinch. This iPad is definitely fast enough now to compete with a computer. And that is really, really impressive. My name is Tom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.